Welcome to AutoCAD 3D Lectures with your instructor Elia Gindis. This is now Chapter 3, Lesson 1, and the topic of this chapter is Boolean Operations and Primitives. In this chapter, we're going to introduce a set of tools called Boolean Operators that allow important additive and subtractive interaction between objects. And we'll also introduce the concept of AutoCAD primitive shapes, known as primitives. And specifically, we'll look at, uh, from the Boolean side, union, subtract, and intersect. And then from the primitives, we'll look at box, wedge, cone, sphere, cylinder, torus, and pyramid. So by the end of this chapter, you'll be able to create designs that feature openings and holes, as well as complex unions and intersections. And you'll understand basic primitive shapes and be able to apply them uh, to design work. Uh, the environment that we're in still is pretty much the same as the last lessons. We still have our ribbon, 3D modeling ribbon, toolbars. We um, haven't added or taken away any. We'll make extensive use of this modeling toolbar right here. And of course we have our command line and cascading menus. Alright, so let me go ahead and erase this. And start in with introduction to Boolean operations. So we have thus far been able to put together a few fairly simple objects using extrude and the 3D manipulation commands such as mirror 3D, rotate 3D, etc. What we still miss is the ability for objects to interact with each other such as being fused together like two adjoining walls for example or subtracted from each other such as a hole in a wall representing a window. This functionality referred to as boolean operations is very important for advanced 3D modeling in both architectural and mechanical design. So we'll cover three Boolean operations of union, subtract, and intersect, and discuss the functionality of each one. Now let me bring up the graphic that represents this, and this is it right here. Two overlapping cir circles, each one representing a solid, a union, a subtract, and an intersect of these solids. So as you can see from the shaded areas, they can either be joined together, in case of union, subtracted from each other in case of subtract leaving only one part of the solid either one can be chosen or they can intersect where only the intersecting geometry remains all three boolean operators can be accessed via typing just by typing in pressing enter union subtract intersect you can use cascading menus a toolbar which is right here on a modeling toolbar or of course the ribbon which is right here home tab solid editing so let's try them out one after the other and show you how to apply it. The first one, union, represents a, uh, a fusing of two or more solids into one object. This is an irreversible operation, so be careful before you implement it. Objects do not actually have to be touching to be joined together, but they usually are. Union is not as commonly used as subtract, but does have some use, and we will put it to use for um, assembling pair of walls together in an architectural layout. It can also be used in mechanical assemblies. So let's erase this and give it a try. Now uh, the way to try out union, easiest way, is to create two solid cubes of any size and position them next to each other so they intersect. And uh, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go into 3D with shaded mode. Okay, I'm going to create a basic rectangle and then extrude into a cube. Sizing does not matter at this point, we just want to demonstrate the command. So here's one, and here's the other. I'm going to create it on the same plane, but different size. I'll make it like this. Extrude, and there it is. I can actually go ahead and change the color of each one just so it's easy to tell them apart. And there we go. Okay, now clearly these are uh, two separate entities. I'll even move them apart from each other. There's one, there's another. Now what I'm going to do? I'm going to move one of these into the other one. Now you don't have to, to to do this, but it just kind of illustrates it graphically. Okay, now we're gonna 
uh, go ahead and union them and before we do just to show you again they are completely separate objects if you erase one it'll just go away now we're gonna go ahead and union by typing in union although you can use toolbar or anything else hit enter select both objects and as soon as you hit enter they become one notice if I click one it all lights up if I were to erase this red one the green one would go. And if I try to erase the green, the red would go. Okay, so I just undid that. And um, go ahead and try this. Pause the video and give it a try with two cubes. Alright, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate subtract. Now this is a frequently used command and is quite indispensable for 3D work. As you may have guessed from its name, it involves the process of subtracting one object from the other. In AutoCAD this is the only way to, make, to take away material to create empty space. Examples of this include the creation of doors and windows in 3D architectural floor plans and bolt holes in mechanical design, just to name a few. So uh, let me first demonstrate the command and then we're going to do it in a more realistic setting. Uh, just to try it out here, subtract, hit enter, then select the object that you want to keep, then hit enter, then select the object you want to subtract out. Click it, and as soon as you do, it'll disappear, and the other object will remain. There it is. It's been subtracted out. Okay. Now let's try this in the following manner. Let's set up a situation where we have a flat plate and a circle, which we're going to extrude one from the other, or subtract rather one from the other to form a hole. And uh, we'll try it out first with a uh, square. We'll make it, let's say, 10 by 10. We're going to extrude it out to a distance of 2. And there it is. I'm going to stay in wireframe for now. You'll see why in a minute. And we'd like to draw a guideline from corner to corner. This is uh, You've seen this in a previous lesson where we can uh, position things now using guidelines. And we'd like to draw a uh, circle with a 2 inch radius. Or uh, eh, let's, let's do 2. There we go. All right, set the midpoint. Now uh, we can erase the guideline, don't need it anymore. And we're going to extrude the circle negative 2 in that direction. That's correct, negative 2. Because we're going down the z-axis. There it is. OK, now we're not done yet. This is not a hole, although it looks like one in wireframe. However, if you go to shade it, you can see that it's not. You should always check yourself because what you're looking at may be fooling you. The final step is to subtract. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, type in subtract. And don't forget, of course, about the toolbar and the ribbon version of it. Same thing. We're going to select the object we want to keep, press enter, and then select the hole we want to get rid of. Okay, now nothing seems to have happened, but if you go to shading, you'll see that the hole is gone. Okay, very basic and very important procedure for creating everything from bolt holes to windows and walls. Okay, so be sure you thoroughly understand this one. We're going to use it often. So pause the video at this point and go ahead and try it on your own. Meanwhile, I'm going to go on and demonstrate intersect. In this case I'm going to uh, keep this block and create a copy of it where it clearly intersects in the middle and as you may imagine uh, from the circles you have seen earlier that uh, when I execute the intersect command only this middle part is going to be left so let's try that. Select them both and there you go. 
them one more time in shaded mode. And change the, uh, the color. Property color. And change this guy. To green. So they're kind of interacting with each other. Alright, we're gonna do intersect. Select them both. And there you go. The remaining piece. Alright. So let's put this to good use and for the remaining uh, three to five minutes of the lesson, create something useful out of it. Okay, make sure your units are set to architectural. You can go ahead and do that. Okay, we're gonna draw a wall, doors and door and window. Okay. So first of all, let's create a, uh, a rectangle. That will be uh, 10 feet long by, make sure it's feet, by, uh, let's do six inches uh, wide or five inches wide. And there it is. We want to go ahead and extrude that to a height of eight feet. And there it is. We want to copy this. Then we want to rotate 3D around the Z axis. Right at this point, 90 degrees. And then we want to attach it point to point. Now this is a case where union is the appropriate command. So we're going to union the walls together into one. And then they are. And you can see it's now a perfect joint, whether in wireframe or shaded mode. All right, next we're going to create a window and a door. First of all, we need to rotate the UCS icon around the X axis to face vertically. And we're going to create a 36 by 36 window. Extrude it out to the thickness of the wall so we cover the whole thing, which is five. And then we're going to switch to wireframe, always easier that way. And put the window into the wall. And then maybe bring it down a little bit. Most windows are somewhere in the middle. And then go ahead and subtract one from the other. Go to shaded, and there you go. We now have a window. A closer look at it. All right. Let's go ahead and create the door and conclude the lesson on that. So. First, we're going to rotate the UCS icon around the Y axis. So face in the right direction. And we're going to create a door that's going to be based on a rectangle, which is 72 by 36. About the size of a door. Well, actually, we'd like to do 36 by 72 because, as you can see, it laid it down, and that'll just save us a step. There we go. We want to extrude now. Same 5 inch thickness. There it is. Now we want to be careful here. We want to create two of them because one will be the door and one will be the door opening. Hopefully, you caught that even before I did it. I'm going to move this into position now. Somewhere around here. Maybe move it over a little bit. Right in the middle. Then subtract one from the other. There it is. And finally, we're going to put the door in where it belongs and then do a little bit of 
rotating in 3D for a little extra realism. Around the Y axis, of course, and around the hinge point. Should be right there. And let's see, maybe 30 degrees. That looks good. And there's our door. Maybe change some colors around. Well, we first want to go UCS World to do that. Okay, and then change the wall. Try that again. Change properties color grid and change the door red there it is shade it and there is the project door window and the walls all right so we learned quite a bit here three critically important commands in this lesson Union, subtract, and intersect. So go ahead and uh, practice on your own, especially this last project here. Create the two walls, union them together, subtract out a window, subtract out a door, and insert a door, and rotate 3D the new door into position. All right, next lesson, we will cover the, um, the primitives. See you then.